All right, guys, the movie club is back again already. I know it's crazy, but we're talking about Woke today. It just came out on Hulu uh, starring Lamorne. And Lamorne has become so famous. He doesn't even have a last name as far as I know. He's just Lamorne. Great guy, great actor. And he's got a show on Hulu called Woke. I'm going to start this off. I normally kick it, but I'm just going to just start this thing off. Um, I love the show. Um, we're just talking about the first episode today, and we're going to tell you guys if we think it is worth watching. Um, I loved it. There's a line in the show with Lamorne and his best friend, and uh, the best friend tells him to maintain or to stay woke. Now, Lamorne has, an, uh, has a run-in with the cops where he's living a normal life, and he realizes that the Black experience, although it hasn't been at his front doorstep, he's very much involved in. Now, when he becomes woke, he has to decide whether this issue is going to be a part of his life or he's going to go back to his life where he's seen as the token black guy and he never really has to deal with this stuff. Um, unfortunately for Lamorne's character, he can't go back. He's, he's stuck. And the way that they illustrate that is by bringing things that are not alive to life. Um, <laughs> And the, and the way that they do it is fantastic, in my opinion, because they're using the voices of Cedric the Entertainer, um, Eddie Griffin, all of these old black favorites. And I can't wait to see what they do with the show. So Woke is definitely on my list of things to do. Yeah, it brings you into that like nerd culture and also the black culture. You have, like you said, the police brutality issue. So issues that we're actually seeing today. We're seeing things that are going on. They're speaking to it. But this guy is learning how to navigate and utilizing those inanimate uh, objects to kind of like roast him along the way. It's just like, you didn't know that? Like, <laughs> ha, you about to learn today. You know, it, those types of situations that keeps it, it keeps it light. It's still some serious stuff that they're touching, but they're giving it to you where it's palatable. So I, I do enjoy it so far. I will say this, I don't have to binge it because all of the episodes are released, mm -hmm. but I will continue into the end. Got it. I agree. I liked it a lot. Um, I like that he built his career off being non-controversial and now he's forced to become controversial like right. i really like how he's trying to still stick to that but like miyoshi said he can't ignore it now so i definitely want to see how he's going to deal with this moving forward um in terms of the inanimate objects i'll be honest i didn't really like it at first i think the first time it happened i was just kind of like okay like i get why it's happening but like i could do without it as the episode continued, it didn't bother me as much. So I think moving forward, like throughout the rest of the show, that's something I think I'll enjoy, but I'm kind of iffy on it now. So we'll see. So I didn't <laughs> love it. <laughs> um, but I understand why everybody else did and why people do and would have a draw to the show. Um, a couple things that I did like was I love that this was kind of a departure from his character on New Girl, like what he's been known for, for like, almost the last like decade and he's he's now getting to do something a little bit different um I loved the way that the show was shot I thought it was shot very creatively the editing was fantastic but there were a lot of times where I found myself more drawn to that and more drawn to the production value than to the actual story um because I really I haven't been drawn to something that's been like a mix of like real life and animation since like Space Jams um space jam that was peak mix it was beautiful it was wonderful um and now i kind of really only like my animation in like a disney or a pixar movie when i'm kind of expecting it um but other than that like i like what it's trying to do i love that love that definitely think that it needs to be said um because it's just one more way to like raise awareness um which i think is really important especially where we're at today in society um, but overall, the style of the show and the comedy, because it is being marketed as a comedy, it's just not my brand. It's not for me, but I do understand why people enjoy it. Thousand percent. All right. Um, that's fantastic. I'm glad everybody had a different take. We're going to want to know what you guys think about Woke. Shout out to Lamore and shout out to the show. And, uh, yeah, I can't wait to see what they do with this season. And 
seasons to come. This is the Movie Club. We are right in and we are right out and we'll see you guys real soon. Peace.